Imagine being able to train DeepSeek AI on your own custom dataset that exactly to your needs. In this video, we'll walk you through the entire process step by step. Get ready to install, format, train, and fine tune DeepSeek using Unsloth, LoRa, and Hugging Face's powerful tools. Let's dive in. First things first, we need the right libraries. Open your terminal and install Unsloth using pip install Unsloth. Force reinstall. This will optimize our training for efficiency. Unsloth is great because it enables low rank adaptation LoRa and helps speed up the training process while keeping memory usage low. Now let's load the DeepSeq R1 model. We'll set parameters like max sequence length and load in 4-bit to ensure the model runs smoothly even on limited hardware. The 4-bit quantization technique is crucial here as it reduces memory load while maintaining performance. To fine-tune our model efficiently, we'll use LoRa, which modifies only a small set of parameters instead of retraining the whole model. By adjusting values like R, target modules, and LoRa Alpha, we make training faster and more cost-effective. This technique allows us to get powerful results with minimal computational resources. Your data set is the foundation of training, so let's load it correctly. We'll use the Hugging Face Datasets library to bring in our custom data. Make sure your data set is formatted properly. This will make all the difference in how well your model understands and processes information. Next, we need to format our data using a chat template, specifically the Llama Dash 3.1 template, and convert it to HF's generic format. A well-structured prompt ensures the model understands instructions clearly, which directly affects the accuracy of responses. Now it's time to set up the SFT trainer. This includes configuring batch size, learning rate, and max steps. These parameters control how the model learns from our data set. Hugging Face's SFT trainer simplifies the process, making it more efficient. For better results, we'll focus training on assistant responses by specifying instruction part and response part. This ensures the model learns to generate accurate replies based on prompts, improving the quality of its output. Once everything is set, it's time to start training. You'll see a progress bar or live metrics showing how the model learns in real time. And that's it. You've successfully trained DeepSeek on your custom data set. We covered installation, model loading, fine tuning with LoRa, data set preparation, training, and inference. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment below. Let me know what AI topic you'd like to see next. See you in the next one.